everyone, welcome back. So today I have a top 10 summer drugstore lip product picks and I'm doing this as a collab with a super phenomenal girl here on YouTube. Her name is Michelle from Ready Set Glamour. I discovered Michelle a while ago. I was looking through swatches online and I typed in some, some I don't remember what I specifically typed in, but it pulled up her blog. And I was immediately like drawn to her blog. She has an amazing blog. And I started to scroll through and I saw that she was posting videos. And I'm like, oh, this girl is like a gem. So when I clicked on her channel, she didn't have a ton of subscribers. And I was thinking, this girl is amazing. How does she not have a million subscribers at this point? Um, since then, her channel has grown tremendously because she continuously puts out product reviews, um, beautiful tutorials. She's very knowledgeable. She is just a beautiful, kind person on YouTube, and I'm so excited to be doing my first collab with her. And Michelle's channel is one that I really respect. I love to watch, and I think that you all would love her too. Yeah, I to do our top 10 drugstore lipstick or lip product picks for the summer because she and I are both lovers of drugstore products. You guys know I do love some high-end products, but I do love drugstores. So these are affordable picks for summer lipsticks. So as soon as you're done watching my picks, head over to Michelle's channel. I will link her channel down below and tell her I sent you. Subscribe. You won't regret it. She is an amazing find on YouTube and definitely has great videos for everyone. So I'm going to get into the first color that I am wearing on my lips right here and it is Maybelline's Make Me Pink. I love this color. It's the perfect like mauve pink color. I love the color Sensational Lipsticks from Maybelline. They're super creamy. I love the pigmentation of them and especially the cream formula lipsticks. This is in the regular line so it's 135 Make Me Pink and it's just a beautiful mauve color. I think that it's a great lip color for the summer because it does have that little bit of pink in it but it also is very wearable. I've worn this a ton this summer and I think it's that great not too bright color but it's that mid-tone color. So if you're someone who doesn't love to wear bright lips in the summer, but you still want to wear something with a little bit of color, try Make Me Pink from Maybelline. Um, it's a really great color. So this first one is Make Me Pink. I do love a great nude in the summer, especially if I'm doing like a bronzy, smoky eye. I love to pair it with a great nude. One of my favorites are the NYX Butter Glosses. They have a ton of colors from nude to bright colors. And this nude is one of the newer colors in the line and it's called Fortune Cookie. I love it, I'm wearing it right now. It's a perfect topper, but it's a great standalone nude. These smell like cake, they feel so good on the lips. So this is one of my go-tos if I'm looking for a nude lip in the summertime. It doesn't give off a ton of color, but there is right there. And it's almost like a great middle of the road neutral color. Since I did show my favorite nude, I wanted to show one of my favorite brighter colors from the line. This is Apple Strudel. And it's a really nice peachy pink color. As you can see, it has a lot of corally to it. It has a really nice creamy base. This None of these have sparkle in them. They're all like a cream gel type formula. This is a great everyday, I would say, neutral peachy pink color. It's perfect for the summertime, if you're, especially if you're wearing like one of your favorite like peachy colored blushes and really tying the look together with this color. So this is Apple Strudel and it's one of my favorite brighter coral peachy colors from the line. Okay, this next color is a Maybelline Baby Lips. I love these. This one is in Pink Punch. It is moisturizing. It's not super long wearing. This is one that you're gonna have to reapply quite frequently, but I love the color that it gives. This color in Pink Punch really builds up on my gives lip. It gives a really nice punchy pink color. So this is one of my favorites. It's probably the only one that I wear from the Baby Lips line because I like a little bit of color. I don't typically go for like just a sheer gloss at all. So I really like this one in Pink Punch and that is again the baby lips. Some people say that they find these drying. I don't, but like I said, this is a product that you're going to have to reapply. But that is Pink Punch from Maybelline Baby Lips. Okay, now we're getting into some of the brighter colors, and this is one of my favorites from Revlon. These are the lip butters. I love the lip butter line. They have a ton of different colors, so they have a lot of wearable, um, really nice, lighter, neutral shades, but they also have some colors that pack a punch, and this is one of them, and it is Sorbet. It's right here. It's a beautiful, like, berry, bright, 
Fuchsia. I love this one on the lips. It's a really one of those perfect summer colors and just the word sorbet, it sounds good. So these are very moisturizing, I find, and they're really easy to wear. They have a lot of shine to them. Um, I love the lip butter line, but this color sorbet is one of my favorites for the summertime. So this is the lip butter from Revlon in sorbet. Okay, if you're looking for something bright, I recommend the Vivids line from Maybelline. These were released, I believe, last year or maybe a year and a half ago. I love every single color in this one. I had to pick just two of my favorites. Um, the first one is this color Pink Pop. I love this. It's bright. It's one of those like Barbie pink colors. If it's too bright for you, it does build up to be like like well, how I have it right now, but you could use it if just dot it on and rub it in and use it as a stain. I love this. It's extremely creamy. Um, it does have a little bit more of that blue base to it, but these are such, like they are what they say they are, the Vivids line. They're vivid, bright colors, and I love this pink color for the summer. Sometimes I just do a little bit of mascara and a bright pink lip and that's just like one of my go-to looks in the summer so this is a perfect one um, Maybelline's pink pop lipstick from the vivids line another one from the vivids line that I had to choose this is electric orange I love oranges I really do and I love this color especially in the summer it looks great with the tan this is one of those eye-catching colors I love the formula of the Maybelline lipsticks like I said so to me uh, this color is just perfection in the summertime it's a perfect not too dark not too neon color but I mean it is called electric orange one of my favorites from the line one of my favorite oranges of all time just because it is a very wearable orange so if you're looking for a great orange from the drugstore check out the Maybelline vivid in electric orange so one of my favorite lipsticks of all time for the summer is max candy yum yum this is something that is a little bit more wearable than that. It doesn't have as much of the neon factor to it, but this is Milani's Color Statement Lipsticks. I love these. They smell like Jolly Ranchers, like Strawberry Kiwi. They smell so good. This is one of those extremely like, what do I want to wear when I'm wearing a statement lip? I pull this out. I love this color. It's a beautiful fuchsia, bright neon-y pink color. It's perfect, super creamy. It's a cream formula. Um, it's really, really easy to wear, and these are extremely pigmented. The color statement, which just means it's like, honestly, one glide over. You don't need to build up the color, which I like because sometimes when you're building up, you get a lot of build up on your lips, and that tends to look cakey, but these are so pigmented that you really just need like, boom one color swipe and you're good to go so this color in rose hip from Milani is one of my go-to summer lip picks for sure this is probably my favorite out of all of the lipsticks because it's just that Shazam color Another great orange is from the Milani Color Statement line. This is in Sweet Nectar. Now, the this is a very similar in color to the first one. This is the um, Maybelline one, and this is the Milani one. They're very similar in color. This one is a little bit more opaque, and it has a little bit less of a shiny finish, more of a satin finish. These are very comfortable on the lips, like I said, and this is a great drugstore option for a orange lip. I love this color, and like I said, it's super opaque, so you really only need one coat and it lasts forever. These are such great formula lipsticks. I think they're so underrated in the drugstore, but this is definitely one of my favorites for the summer. Okay, my last pick is from Jordana, and these are their Twist and Shine Moisturizing Balm Stains. I find that these are so much more moisturizing to me than the Revlon Balm Stains are, and these really do stain your lips. This is my favorite color from the line. It's called Tropical Frenzy. These have a great shine to them, and they just really feel good on the lips. They go on creamy, and like I said, they really do stain, so if you'd like to build the color up, I blot it and then I reapply. But this is just one layer. I love this color. It's just a really nice, it's more like one of those muted, brighter lips. It's an easy to wear bright lip. If you're nervous about a bright lip, I would go with the stain product that kind of wears off a little bit throughout the day, but then that deep um, stain kind of stays with the lips. 
but this is these are great they're so inexpensive the Jordana twist and shine again I think this is another underrated product from the drugstore these are great and they have a lot of colors in the line so if you're looking for a less bright color they have so many options so check them out and again Jordana twist and shine you can find Jordana products at, at Walgreens is probably the most consistent place that I have found them if you live in Texas you can often find um, Jordana products at HEB but this is one of my go-to favorites in the summer especially I like the stick form because you can get a little bit more accuracy when applying it. The Jordana Twist and Shine in Tropical Frenzy is my last color. Now I'm going to do a close-up of the colors swatches on my hand so that you can see them. The Maybelline Baby Lips, the Butter Glosses, the Maybelline Make Me Pink, and the Vivids. And then these are the Milani colors. I mean, look at how pigmented those are. And then that's the Jordana Twist and Shine and the Revlon Lip Butter in Sorbet. So those are my top 10 favorites. Leave below some of your favorites. I love hearing what people's favorites are, especially when it comes to drugstore makeup because it is so affordable. I did want to throw in, if you're looking for a great affordable liner from the drugstore that would kind of encompass um, one liner for everything, I recommend this one from Milani. It's a transparent liner. It's perfect to wear with the brighter lip colors because you can just outline the perimeter of your lips and since it is like a clear transparent it just prevents feathering of the more bright bold colors so when you're wearing those and you want to get you don't want them to bleed outside of your lip lines I recommend this that way you don't have to get a bunch of different lip liners just get one and you can get a nice crisp line when you're wearing those bright bold colors so I hope you guys enjoyed this video please head over to Michelle's channel like I said I'll link it down below and check out her top 10 drugstore picks for the summer. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Mwah.